to a friendly neighborhood surveyor. It's our end of our day today, doing cross sections uh, on this street here. And at the end of the day, we did a um, 500 foot cross sections. I don't know if that just came up on my screen or not. And I had to locate, you know, every 50 feet or angle points or grade breaks for this concrete channel. Uh, most of the time when we do cross sections, it's um, uh, 50 feet from the um, from the EP. You know, if it's a wide open field like this or lots of dirt. But this road here, actually where this white line is, is actual center line for the road there. You can see how far away those telephone poles are. So that's actually a right away on that side. But not sure how you guys do uh, cross sections out in other parts of the country, but here in Southern California, that's kind of what we do. We get like uh, FSA in the middle or in the center line, crown, EP, where it is, EP, EG for existing ground, and then um, one in the middle, just in case there's a swale. And then we're using those uh, telephone poles as our as our limits. That's it. Survey out. So there's cross sections from the other day showing line work, showing the curb, curb return, center line of the street. We have some um, ba -ba -ba -bum, storm drain manholes, catch basins, drop inlets, or not drop inlets, but uh, local depressions. And today. There's our channel, flow line at the top, where the flow lines come together, rip wrap, head walls, all that stuff there. If you're not doing line work, talk to your boss.